For people with diabetes, traveling with insulin can be a daunting experience. The need to maintain consistent blood sugar control and ensure insulin pens or vials are transported at the correct temperature while traveling and dealing with jet lag or changes in routine can be overwhelming. Whether planning a short or a long trip, it's essential to know how to keep your insulin cold. Indeed, insulin is a very temperature-sensitive drug. It needs to be refrigerated when not in use and protected from heat once open. Failure to follow correct temperature storage conditions can seriously affect the efficiency of your treatment and ultimately your diabetes management. This video will explore practical tips and tricks to help you keep your insulin cold while traveling so you can relax and focus on enjoying your trip instead. First, let's discuss insulin's storage instructions. When not in use, insulin should be stored in a refrigerator at a temperature between 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Once open or removed from the fridge, insulin can be kept at room temperature not exceeding 77 degrees Fahrenheit for a limited period. The exact length of time insulin can stay unrefrigerated depends on the brand and type of insulin. For example, Humalog or Novolog rapid-acting bolus insulin can be kept at room temperature for up to 28 days. Lantus, a long-acting basal insulin, can be unrefrigerated for 28 days. Levomir, a long-acting basal insulin, can stay unrefrigerated for up to 42 days. Most pre-mixed insulin, such as Novolog Mix 7030 or Humalog Mix 7525, can be kept at room temperature for shorter periods, generally up to 14 days. If you need clarification about the storage requirements for your insulin, read the instructions for use or consult with your healthcare provider or pharmacist. To make it simple, there are two situations where you must pay special attention to temperatures when traveling with insulin. You're traveling with stocks of unopened insulin pens or vials that need to be refrigerated. You're traveling with open insulin that does not require refrigeration, but must be protected from heat if the outside temperature is above 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Insulin travel fridges are portable refrigerators specifically designed to transport cold insulin while traveling. The benefits of using such medical-grade travel fridges are numerous. Convenience An insulin travel fridge allows you to carry refrigerated insulin wherever you go. This is especially useful when traveling to areas where refrigeration is not readily available or when flying long distances, for example. Temperature control these travel fridges are designed to maintain a stable temperature, usually between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, which is the recommended temperature for storing unopened insulin. Some even come with a temperature display screen and auto-shut-off security. DSA approved for air travel The portable insulin fridges from For All Family are all TSA approved for air travel, so you can keep your insulin cold even when on a plane. Versatility of use for All Family offers various cooling solutions for travelers with insulin and refrigerated drugs, so you can find the one that best fits your needs. You can choose a travel fridge that works with biogel packs or USB power. Whether you have access to electricity or are traveling off the grid, you can keep your insulin cold while traveling, camping, hiking, driving, air traveling, or enjoying a day at the beach. The Voyager Travel Fridge can refrigerate up to 7 insulin pens for 30 hours when using the Biogel Pack while traveling at 95 degrees Fahrenheit, or also it offers the option to keep cool for unlimited time if plugged into a USB power source. With the Nomad Portable Cooler, you can refrigerate up to 3 or 7 insulin pens while traveling without electricity. Alternatively, you can use an insulated lunch bag with ice packs to keep your insulin cold while traveling. However, we do not recommend that solution as it's unreliable for refrigerated medicines. The inside temperature fluctuates a lot, the ice is dripping, and there's no way to guarantee your insulin is safe. Now, suppose you're traveling with pens or vials of insulin for less than a month. You do not necessarily need to keep them refrigerated as insulin can stay at room temperature for about a month. However, if it's hot and outside temperature gets above 77 degrees Fahrenheit, you must protect your insulin from the heat while traveling. Indeed, exposing insulin to high temperatures, even briefly, can deteriorate your medicine and make it lose part or all of its potency. 
Therefore, to prevent your insulin from going bad when traveling, you should use an insulin travel cooler during hot summer days. The pocket size Rambler insulin cooler keeps one insulin pen or several insulin vials at room temperature, even when it's 104 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Our companion insulated bag can fit up to five insulin pens and will keep them below 77 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 14 hours. If you have any questions regarding our products, please don't hesitate to contact us or leave a comment in this video. Besides using an insulin travel cooler, here are a few common sense habits that will help protect your insulin from heat and ensure that it does not go bad during your trips. Always keep insulin away from direct sunlight. Direct sunlight can cause insulin to overheat and lose effectiveness. Keep your insulin in a shaded area or covered with a cloth. Never leave insulin pens or vials in the car. The temperature inside can rise very quickly. Only take the insulin you need during your excursions. Leave the other pens or vials in your hotel room or apartment. Use a refrigerator at your destination. For example, if you're staying at a hotel or a friend's house, ask if you can store your insulin in a fridge when you're not using it. Protect insulin from freezing. Freezing temperatures can destroy your insulin too. When traveling to cold weather destinations, always keep your insulin pens or vials in an inside pocket so your body warmth prevents them from freezing. Besides temperature conditions, traveling with insulin requires some planning and preparation. Here are some tips to help you travel with insulin safely. Talk to your doctor before departure. Consult with your doctor, nurse or diabetes educator before you travel, especially if you're flying with insulin. Your doctor may recommend adjusting your insulin doses or timing depending on your destination, itinerary and time difference. Pack extra diabetic supplies. Make sure that you pack extra insulin and supplies like syringes, pen needles, glucose test strips, blood lancets, ketone tests, insulin pump supplies and others in case of an emergency, your trip is unexpectedly extended or your flight gets delayed. Bring backup glucose meter and insulin pump. It's also a good idea to bring backup diabetes devices in case yours gets lost, broken or non-functional during your trip. Always carry fast-acting sugar. Insulin therapy puts you at a high risk of low blood sugar. Therefore, people with diabetes using insulin must always have a fast-acting sugar within easy and quick reach. Pack juices, honey sachets or glucose tablets in your carry-on when traveling. Pack your insulin with medical supplies in your carry-on. If you are traveling by plane, always pack your insulin, medications and medical devices in your carry-on. Hazardous temperature and atmospheric conditions in the hold could damage your supplies, not to mention lost luggage. Wear a diabetes medical alert bracelet. In case of a medical emergency while traveling, such as a hypoglycemia episode, seizure or a loss of consciousness, a medical alert bracelet can provide important information to emergency responders. The bracelet can alert them to your condition and help them provide appropriate treatment. This is especially important if you're traveling unaccompanied. Follow TSA regulations for diabetics. If you're flying, follow the Transportation and Security Administration regulations for carrying insulin and other diabetes supplies on board. You may need a letter from your doctor stating that you must carry insulin and other medical supplies. For more information on TSA regulations, please check the description of this video. Comply with your destination's regulations. Insulin is widely available worldwide and most countries do not restrict quantities. However, depending on your destination country, customs agents may require you to show certain documents like a medical prescription, a letter from your doctor or pharmacist or a health card. Make sure to have travel insurance for diabetes. Both type 1 and type 2 diabetes are considered pre-existing medical conditions by most travel insurers. Call your insurance before departure and ensure that you're covered in case of an incident related to your condition. You may have to adjust your travel insurance plan. So what about you? Are you a frequent traveler with diabetes? How do you keep your insulin pens and vials cool while traveling? Let us know in the comments section. We'd love to hear your story. Thank you for watching.